This is the bike belonging to Tony Martin, the world time trial champion from Amiga Pharma Quickstep. And what a steed it is, completely built with one thing in mind, and that's speed. It's the specialized S-Works Shiv TT2 in a custom design, especially for Tony Martin. The first thing that you notice when you look at it for the first time is that it pops. It's got this lovely design on the front of the Raging Bull with a red eye there. And again, this thing really, really is built for speed. The flight deck is a fully integrated, proprietary, specialized bars and stem. Extra added features on here, SRAM brakes, grip tape here, as used in skateboards, so Tony Martin can really wrench on the, on the handlebars here without losing any purchase at all. And particularly notable is Tony Martin's very, very aerodynamic position. He gets very narrow. My forearms here are actually touching. That's how narrow he gets to reduce that frontal area. And up front here, you've got the SRAM levers, front and rear met control, and lovely detailing here. The cable runs through the aero bar, nice and neat to keep it all fully integrated back in just to beyond the headset here. The drivetrain on this bike is S-Works carbon crankset. Tony Martin uses 175 millimeters. As you can see, very, very large chain ring. Tony's running a 58 outer ring and a 44 inner ring. And it's actually a quark power chain set. Moving to the rear mech, it's a flight deck rear mech with long hanger arm. And the cassette that Tony Martin's using on this bike is an 1126. Bladed aero forks, of course. We've got dual pivot brakes on the front here. There's also dual pivot brakes underneath, again, for aerodynamic effect, just tucked underneath the bottom bracket. The wheel set, as you can see, clearly marked to zips. It's a 404 deep section front, full disc to the rear, and the tyres that Tony Martin's running on this bike are specialised time trial two, front and rear, both 24 millimetres. Now the other contact points, the pedals, look Keo carbon blade pedals, specialised saddle, specialised proprietary bladed seat pin, and this is reversible. He's actually got it changed round so it throws him as far forward as is legal under UCI regulations, of course. Continuing the aerodynamic theme on this bike, we have a tax bottle, which is completely aerodynamic. It's even dimpled, very much like the back wheel, for maximum aerodynamic effect. Is this the fastest bike in the world? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. If you want to subscribe in JCN, click on here. For more Vuelta content, click on Alberto.